drought. Every day at sunrise, while others wake from sweet dreams and warm beds, she can be seen running from the lingering cold of last night, while readying herself for the day ahead. To her, every day is the same agonizing reality, not so much a routine than a painful memory relive, over and over and over. She remembers the day that he left. His chest swelled with blood. His sails backed by an unyielding gale. Her children in his arms. She lies facing the sky, gazing at the clouds that have taken from her what mattered the most. The moisture of her once damp skin. The wetness of her welcoming smile. And the sparkle of life in her weary eyes. Come back to me. She whispers, in breaths that slip softly between the cracks of her lips. Her voice echoes over the horizon, her pleas lost in the crashing of waves against the hardened cliffs of unwarranted loss. A geyser spews a jet of water, her little fountain of hope that dissipates upon meeting the scorching heat of the sun. What residue remains? is taken in by the clouds. She takes her last breath and goes to rest, still gazing at the clouds. The clouds look down on her, seeing her fissured skin and shriveled lips, and press on in their wayward journey through directionless skies, without once ever looking back. <coughs> A drop of water lands on her parched lips, another on her peeling skin, and more on her hair. Her children have come home to wet their mother's cheeks, but not with kisses, not with tears. They know they've been gone for too long. Thank you.